VLC Media Player from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. VLC Media Player, commonly known as just VLC, is a free and open source portable cross platform media player software and streaming media server developed by the Videoland project. VLC is available for desktop operating systems and mobile platforms, such as Android, iOS, Tizen, Windows 10 Mobile, and Windows Phone. VLC is also available on digital distribution platforms such as Apple's App Store, Google Play, and Microsoft Store. VLC supports many audio and video compression methods and file formats, such as DVD video, video CD, and streaming protocols. It is able to stream media over computer networks and to transcode multimedia files. The default distribution of VLC includes a large number of free decoding and encoding libraries avoiding the need for finding slash calibrating proprietary plugins. The libav codex library from the FFmpeg project provides many of VLC's codecs, but the player mainly uses its own muxers and demuxers. It also has its own protocol implementations. It also gained distinction as the first player to support playback of encrypted DVDs on Linux and macOS by using libdvdcss decryption library. Image VLC3 running on Linux and GNOME Shell playing Cosmos Laundromat. Developer Videolan. Initial release February 1st, 2001, 18 years ago. Stable releases. Windows, Linux, and macOS, version 3.0.7.1, 11th of June 2019, two months ago. Android, 3.1.4, 8th of May 2019, three months ago. Chrome OS, 1.7.3, 23rd of December 2015, three years ago. iOS and Apple TV, 3.1.9, 3rd of May 2019, three months ago. Windows, Universal Windows Platform, 3.1.2, 20th of July 2018, 12 months ago. Windows Phone, 3.1.2, 20th of July 2018, 12 months ago. Repository, code.videolan.org, slash explore, slash projects, slash start. Written in, core, C, GUI, G-U-I. C++ with Qt, Objective-C with Coca and Swift. Bundled extensions, Lua. Operating system, Windows NT, Windows Phone, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, Apple TV, Tizen, OS2, Xbox One system software. Platform, IA32, x86-64. ARM, MIPS, and PowerPC. Available in 48 languages. Type, Media Player. License, LGPL v2.1 Plus. Website, videoland.org slash VLC. Contents, Section 1, History. Section 2, Design Principles. Section 2.1, Modular Design. Section 2.2, Interfaces. Section 3, Features. Section 4, Operating System Compatibility. Section 4.1, Windows 8 and 10 support. Section 4.2, Android support. Section 5, Use of VLC with other programs. Section 5.1, API. Section 5.2, Browser Plugins. Section 5.3, Applications that use libvlc. Section 6, Format Support. Section 6.1, input formats. Section 6.2, output formats. Section 7, legality. Section 7.1, United States. Section 1, history. The Videoland software originated as an academic project in 1996. VLC used to stand for the Videoland client when VLC was a client of the Videoland project. But since VLC is no longer merely a client, that initialism no longer applies. It was intended to consist of a client and server to stream videos from satellite dishes across a campus network. 
Originally developed by students at the École Centrale Paris, it is now developed by contributors worldwide and is coordinated by Videolan, a non-profit organisation. Rewritten from scratch in 1998, it was released under the GNU General Public Licence on February 1, 2001, with authorization from the headmaster of the École Centrale Paris. The functionality of the server program, the Videolan server, or VLS, has mostly been subsumed into VLC and has been deprecated. The project name has been changed to VLC Media Player because there is no longer a client slash server infrastructure. The cone icon used in VLC is a reference to the traffic cones collected by a Coal Central's Networking Students Association. The cone logo design was changed from a hand-drawn low-resolution icon to a higher-resolution CGI-rendered version in 2006. Illustrated by Richard Aista. In 2007, the VLC project decided, for license compatibility reasons, not to upgrade to the just released GPL v3. After 13 years of development, version 1.0.0 of VLC Media Player was released on 7th of July 2009. Work began on VLC for Android in 2010 and has been available for Android devices on the Google Play Store since 2011. In September of 2010, a company named AppLydium developed a VLC port for iOS under the GPL v2, with the endorsement of the VLC project, which was accepted by Apple for their App Store. In January 2011, after VLC developer Remy Denis Comont's complaint to Apple about the licensing conflict between the VLC's GPL v2 and the App Store's policies, the VLC had been withdrawn from the Apple App Store by Apple. Subsequently, in October of 2011, the VLC authors began to relicense the engine parts of VLC from the GPL v2 to the LGPL v2 to achieve better license compatibility for instance with the Apple App Store. In July 2013, the VLC application could be resubmitted to the iOS App Store under the Mozilla Public License. Version 2.0.0 of the VLC Media Player was released on February 18, 2012. The version for the Windows Store was released on March 13, 2014. Support for Windows RT, Windows Phone and Xbox One were added later. As of 2016, VLC is the third in the SourceForge.net overall download count, and there have been more than 3 billion downloads. Version 3.0 was in development for Windows, Linux and macOS since June 2016, and released in February 2018. It contains a lot of new features including Chromecast output support, except subtitles, hardware accelerated decoding, 4K and 8K playback, 10-bit and HDR playback, 360-degree video and 3D audio, audio pass-through for HD codecs, Blu-ray Java menu support, and local network drive browsing. In December of 2017, the European Parliament approved a budget that funds a bug bounty program for VLC to improve the EU's IT infrastructure. Section 2. Design Principles Section 2.1 Modular Design VLC, like most multimedia frameworks, has a very modular design, which makes it easier to include modules slash plugins for new file formats, codecs, interfaces or streaming methods. VLC 1.0.0 has more than 380 modules. The VLC core creates its own graph of modules dynamically, depending on the situation. Input protocol input file format, input codec, video card capabilities, and other parameters. In VLC, almost everything is a module, like interfaces, video and audio outputs, controls, scalers, codecs, and audio slash video filters. Section 2.2, interfaces. The default GUI is based on BAPI, or BOS, COCA for macOS, and Qt4 for Linux and Windows, but all give a similar standard interface. The old default GUI was based on WX widgets for Linux and Windows. VLC supports highly customizable skins through the Skins 2 interface, 
and supports Winamp 2 and XMMS skins. Skins are not supported in the macOS version. DLC has end cursors, remote control and Telnet console interfaces. There is also an HTTP interface as well as interfaces for mouse gestures and keyboard hotkeys. Image, keyboard map, basic. Section 3, features. Because VLC is a packet based media player, it plays almost all video content. It can play some even if they're damaged, incomplete or unfinished, such as files that are still downloading via a peer-to-peer -peer P2P network. It also plays M2T MPEG transport streams .ts files while they are still being digitised from an HDV camera via a firewire cable, making it possible to monitor the video as it's being played. The player can also use libcdio to access .iso files, so that users can play files on a disk image even if the user's operating system cannot work directly with .iso images. VLC supports all audio and video formats supported by the libav codec and libav format. This means that VLC can play back H.264 or MPEG-4 Part 2 video, as well as support FLV and MXF formats out of the box using FFmpeg's libraries. Alternatively, VLC has modules for codecs that are not supported on FFmpeg libraries. VLC is one of the free software DVD players that ignores DVD region coding on RPC1 firmware drives, making it a region free player. However, it does not do the same on RPC2 firmware drives, as in these cases, the region coding is enforced by the drive itself. However, it can still brute force the CSS encryption to play a foreign region DVD on an RPC2 drive. VLC Media Player has some filters that can distort, rotate, split, deinterlace and mirror videos as well as create display walls or add a logo overlay. It can also output video as ASCII art. VLC Media Player can play high definition recordings of DVHS tapes duplicated to a computer using capdvhs.exe. This offers another way to archive all DVHS tapes with the DRM copy freely tag. Using a firewire connection from cable boxes to computers, VLC can stream live unencrypted content to monitor or HDTV. VLC Media Player can display the playing video as a desktop wallpaper like Windows Dream Scene by using DirectX, only available on Windows operating systems. VLC Media Player can record the desktop and save the stream as a file, allowing the user to create screencasts. On Microsoft Windows, VLC also supports the Direct Media Object DMO framework and can thus make use of some third-party DLLs Dynamic Link Library. On most platforms, VLC can tune into and view DVB-C, DVB-T and DVB-S channels. On macOS, the separate ITV plugin is required. On Windows, it requires the card's BDA drivers. VLC can be installed or run directly from a USB flash drive or other external drive. VLC can be extended through scripting. It uses the Lua scripting language. VLC can play videos in the AVCHD format, a highly compressed format used in recent HD camcorders. VLC can generate a number of music visualization displays. The program is able to convert media files into various supported formats. Section 4 Operating System Compatibility VLC Media Player is cross platform with versions for Android, BOS, iOS, macOS, tvOS, OS2, Unix like, Syllable, and Windows. However, Forward and backward compatibility between versions of VLC Media Player and different versions of OS's are not maintained over more than a couple of generations or so. 64-bit builds are available for 64-bit Windows. Section 4.1 Windows 8 and 10 support The VLC port for Windows 8 and Windows 10 is backed by a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter to add support for a new 
GUI based on Microsoft's Metro Design language that will run on the Windows runtime. All the existing features, including video filters, subtitle support and an equalizer are present in Windows 8. A beta version of VLC for Windows 8 was released to the Microsoft Store on March 13th, 2014. A universal app was created for the Windows 8, 8.1, 10, Windows Phone 8, 8.1 and Windows 10 Mobile. Section 4.2 Android Support In May 2012, the VLC team stated that a version of VLC for Android was being developed. The stable release version 1.0 was made available on Google Play on December 8, 2014. Image VLC on Android Section 5 Use of VLC with other programs Section 5.1 API Several APIs can connect to VLC and use its functionality. The VLC API, the VLC core for C and C++. VLC Kit, an Objective-C framework for macOS. JavaScript API, the evolution of ActiveX API and Firefox integration. DBus controls. Go binding. C Sharp interface. Python controls. Java API, Direct Show Filters, Delphi slash Pascal API, Paslib VLC by Robert Zenzajric, Free Pascal bindings and an OOP wrapper component via the libvlc.pp and vlc.pp units. This comes standard with the Free Pascal compiler as of November 6th, 2012. The phone and multimedia API for Qt and KDE applications can optionally use VLC as a backend. LibVLC Developer VideoLAN Project Initial release February 1, 2001 Stable release 1.1 Repository code.videolan.org slash explore slash projects slash starred Written in C Type Multimedia Library License GNU Lesser General Public License Website wiki.videoland.org slash libvlc Section 5.2 Browser Plugins On Windows, Linux, macOS and some other Unix-like platforms, VLC provides an NPAPI plugin, which enables users to view QuickTime, Windows Media, MP3 and OGG files embedded in websites without using additional software. It supports many web browsers including Firefox, Mozilla Application Suite and other Netscape plugin based browsers, Safari, Chrome and other WebKit based browsers and Opera. Google used this plugin to build the Google Video Player web browser plugin before switching to use Adobe Flash. Starting with version 0.8.2 VLC also provides an ActiveX plugin, which lets people view QuickTime, MOV, Windows Media, MP3 and OGG files embedded in websites when using Internet Explorer. Section 5.3 Applications that use libvlc VLC can handle some incomplete files and in some cases can be used to preview files being downloaded. Several programs make use of this, including Emule and KCZ. The free slash open source internet television application Miro also uses VLC code. Handbrake, an open source video encoder, used to load libdvd CSS from VLC Media Player. A program named LiveStreaver may utilize VLC as its main video stream player and will not work without one. Easy Subtitle Synchronizer, a freeware subtitle editing program for Windows, uses VLC to preview the video within the edited subtitles. Section 6. Format Support Section 6.1. Input Formats VLC can read a large number of formats, depending on the operating system it is running on, including Container Formats, 3GP, ASF, AVI, DVR, MS, FLV, Matstroker, MKV, MIDI, QuickTime File Format, MP4, OGG, 
OGM, WAV, MPEG-2, ES, PS, TS, PVA, MP3, AIFF, Raw Audio, Raw DV, MXF, VOB, RM, Blu-ray, DVD Video, VCD, SVCD, CD Audio, DVB, HEIF, AVIF, Audio Coding Formats, AAC, AC3, ALAC, AMR, DTS, DV Audio, XM, FLAC, IT, MACE, MOD, Monkeys Audio, MP3, Opus, PLS, QCP, QDM2, slash QDMC, Real Audio, Speaks, Scream Tracker 3 slash S3M, TTA, Vorbis, Wave Pack, WMA, WMA1 slash 2, WAM3 partially. Capture Devices, Video for Linux on Linux, Direct Show on Windows, Desktop, Screencast, Digital TV, DVBC, DVBS, DVBT, DVBS2, DVBT2, ATSC, Clear QAM. Network Protocols FTP, HTTP, MMS, RSS slash Atom, RTMP, RTP, Unicast or Multicast, RTSP, UDP, SAT IP, Smooth Streaming. Network Streaming Formats Apple HLS, Flash RTMP, MPEG Dash, MPEG Transport Stream, RTP slash RTSP, ISMA slash 3GPP PSS, Windows Media MMS. Subtitles Advanced Substation Alpha, Closed Captions, DVB, DVD Video, MPEG 4 Time Text, MPL2, OGM, Substation Alpha, Subwip, SVCD, Teletext, Text File, Vobsub, Web VTT, TTML. Video coding formats Cinepack, Dirac, DV, H263, H264 slash MPEG4 AVC, H265 slash MPEG HEVC, AV1, Huff YUV, Indio3, MJPEG, MPEG1, MPEG2, MPEG4 Part 2, Real Video 3 and 4, Sorensen, Fiora, VC1, VP5, VP6, VP8, VP9, DNXHD, ProRes, and some WMV. Digital camcorder formats, MOD and TOD via USB. Section 6.2, output formats. VLC can transcode or stream audio and video into several formats depending on the operating system, including container formats, ASF, AVI, FLAC, FLV, FRAPS, Mastroka, MP4, MPJPEG, MPEG-2, ES or MP3, OG, PS, PVA, QuickTime File Format, TS, WAVE or WebM. Audio Coding Formats AAC, AC3, DV Audio, FLAC, MP3, Speaks, Vorbis. Streaming Protocols HTTP, MMS, RTSP, RTP, UDP. Video Coding Formats Dirac, DV, H263, H264 slash MPEG4 AVC, H265, MPEG H, HEVC, MJPEG, MPEG1, MPEG2, MPEG4 Part 2, the other, VP5, VP6, VP8, VP9. Section 7 Legality The VLC Media Player software installs for the macOS platform and the Windows platform include the libdvdcssdvddeencryption library. 
even though this library may be legally restricted in certain jurisdictions. Section 7.1 United States The VLC media player software is able to read audio and video data from DVDs that incorporate Content Scramble System CSS encryption. Even though the VLC media player software lacks a CSS de-encryption license, the unauthorised de-encryption of CSS encrypted DVD content or unauthorised distribution of CSS de-encryption tools may violate the US Digital Millennium Copyright Act. De-encryption of CSS encrypted DVD content has been temporarily authorised for certain purposes, such as documentary filming that uses short portions of DVD content for criticism or commentary under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, anti-circumvention exceptions that were introduced by the US Copyright Office in 2010. However, these exceptions do not change the DMCA's ban on the distribution of CSS de-encryption tools, including those distributed with VLC.